Hey, welcome to the Smith's Wild Beer Review. This is our Christmas extravaganza. Uh, We're yeah. so glad to have you join us. He is Shag Dog, and yeah, I am Jammer. Yeah, you know we that. have Jammer Fan and Diddy along with us for the ride. We hope that you enjoy this video just as much as we enjoyed making it. Yes. And today we're doing Guinness's Open Gate Brewery Imperial yeah, Gingerbread yeah, Stout, aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels. Right. Here is a picture of the label for you yeah. all to see. Guinness! And Woo! then we turn around and there's the cap for all you cap burbs uh, out there. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, Julie. Okay. We are excited to do this uh, one, ladies American and gentlemen. Imperial Style, I'm from San Diego. Uh, Guinness Open Gate Brewery in Barrow House, Maryland. Mind. So it's brewed in Maryland. Yeah, it's brewed in Maryland. Rotated and seasonal. So Simon, I right. got damn time to do some real beer. Woo! <laughs> Simon, <laughs> it's brewed in Maryland. I know, but still. Democratic it's state. Stable. Democratic state with an uh, opium crisis. Yes. Oh, love Guinness. And Baltimore Opioid. overflowing with rats. Yeah. This winter treat was brewed with allspice, ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg, then aged in bourbon barrels. Rich notes of gingerbread with warm notes of bourbon. 11% ABV. 11% after the 14? Yeah. But this is considered an imperial stout. American imperial, but a lot of people drink it. Don't think it's an imperial stout. But it's a very dark amber red Love tones it. on the side, Love red it. hues. Nice beige head. Looks very creamy there, Shaq Dog. Would you concur with that opinion? I would say the head would look pretty creamy. Yes, it does look very creamy. Very few bubbles. Very tiny bubbles, if that. I like and my it dark and creamy. I do sense the smell of clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, and just that gingerbread flair. Yeah, a little bit of spicy gingerbread flair. In yeah. Added in, I think. All right, let's take a sip, boys. Malty. Take a sip, boys. Roasty, bready. Yes, I think that the sounds good. Let's go ahead and take a sip of a chat. Small sip, small sip. Uh, uh, Jammer fan, you're doing two below still? Matzo balls. Yep. That's I'm two balls. with uh, my buddy uh, down here. Like Giddy, a, you're doing uh, lasagna, like these man, nuts. Yes. What? Bang. Bang. Yang lang. <laughs> Yang lang, and I got the shang a lang chang gang. Two below. Oh. You know, it's just that, that dirty, dirty. spicy. Like a gingerbread. Hey, dirty, dirty. Uh, nope. You know, this actually comes very close to gingerbread. It does, but jammer very called close that. to this you gingerbread. Caramel, 30. malty, gingerbready. <laughs> yeah, it does have a boozy <laughs> flair to it. It does have a boozy, a little bit of a boozy flair. What was uh? Did you guys do the same Adams Christmas one the one time? Uh, well, we haven't done the same Adams this year, but what's that? Christmas. Sam Adams Christmas one. We did the one uh, winter what, Wonderland. Oh, Fezziwig? Uh, we've done Fezziwig a few years back. Yeah, we haven't done Fezziwig in a while. What I like <laughs> about Sam Adams, they always put the Boston Lager in, in the pack. This is bullshit. But now they use the chocolate now, block, right? They only have, instead of six beers, they only do four beers in their winter packs. So they got three beers and then Boston Lager. I had a Boston Lager. Actually, you know, my buddy Boston brought one over, and it was a your buddy Boston. Lager. Yeah, Boston from Boston. He parked his he car was down, down from the harbor. He parked his car down in the harbor, and he lost his fucking khakis. Ah. But my buddy Boston brought. He's like, "Hey, I tried the Sam Adams fucking Christmas thing. I tried it. I'm like, what the fuck? Tried his Christmas bear." It's always fucking Christmas, yeah. It's a fucking snowing. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, I thought it was pretty good. The, the mm. boss, I don't know what this. Which one was it? They got the. I don't. I don't remember. It's like some Christmas shit. Well, of course they, he doesn't they got, remember. They got a winter lager, and they got a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. I don't know some Christmas shit. Uh, well, guys, um, let me jump in by saying that the the main beef they put in the sausage pack so to speak is they they pack in that winter lager 
And then the White Christmas, which is their wit beer, which is just basically like 5.4%. You guys, have you guys seen the White Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's, it's just basically a white ale with cinnamon. Honestly, it's pretty good, but it, it's 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 an easy to make beer for them where they can just shove a bunch of packs in there. Yeah. It's not this special. It's not. Special. It's nothing special. So special. So I'm they've been sure jam- they've been jamming that shit. No, no offense, jammer. Oh wait a minute, is this my turn? That shit. <laughs> uh, it might be. In there. Hey, you know if it's my turn to toss the cap? Did we tie because we had a double cap last time? Okay, well, so that's my I think turn. It's du- I think Shag Dog's right to double. Well, how do you break that tie? No. All right. Oh, there you go. There, you take the cap. You take a turn. Oh. I think that was a nail. That yeah, nail. Yeah. I mean, I saw it hit the fucking yeah. screen. Oh, <laughs> two to one. Two, two, one. Yeah. Dude, jammer. That that that. You hit it like right on, dude. It was crazy. I saw it. Like, I get better. Uh, have you ever watched that show WKRP in Cincinnati? Yeah. Hell yeah. I watched that show. Do you remember Johnny Fever and Venus Flytrap? Yeah. Yeah. You're, do you remember when they did the drunk test with the state trooper? Where Johnny Fever would take a drink and then test his reflexes on trying to hit a buzzer? Yeah, vaguely. Not enough to, like, probably... The more he drank, the faster he got. Okay. So it was just the opposite. He was supposed to be worse as he drank, but he got better as he drank. That's me. So, oh, nice. so you're Johnny Trapper? No. Johnny Fever. We're both uh, the same uh, when we bowled, too. When we used to do bowling league, he would last a little longer than me. I had my certain limit, like three beers, whatever the hell. I'd be like on point. And then when I got past three beers, I'm all over. I mean, I was sucking before I got to the three beers. But like I got to that three beer, oh, two and a half, three and a half beer point. I'm like, show. God. I'm striking like Donkey Kong. So, so Diddy, aren't you giving. Shag dog shit for also doing electronic. Like he was like, "What are you doing with electronic cigarettes? Like, aren't you aren't you fully electronic now, Shag dog? Are you still lighting up? No, or are you? I don't, I don't smoke anything. You don't smoke anymore. I haven't smoked anything since I had the lungs. Thing. You vape anything? No. No. All right. Well, that's good. When I had the lungs, I had like one started lung. chewing the gum. No, he's not allowed to. He gets smacked. Uh, I want to smoke right, some pot, but what? I, I haven't had any. <laughs> well that's awesome well i just want to say <laughs> hey i just want to like say i appreciate shag dog for doing that man like good good on you dude for like still like having fun and being out here with everybody and doing what you want to do man let me tell you if you ever notice those old videos when you were watching them he always had a cigarette oh yeah and then he was vaping towards the end too I was vaping a little bit because I had to vape. Uh, yeah. One time I went to, it's 2013, I went to New York and I couldn't smoke in the car, so I bought a vape. So I was like smoking that off and on and the cigarettes, you know. But that lasted for like about a year and then I got rid of the vape again. But just the fact that he quit smoking after all these years, that's a testament. I started smoking, I was like, <laughs> he didn't, full time, he didn't 15 choice. probably. Yeah. I guess when you get part of your lung cut out, you know, you think, well, okay, yeah, maybe I should quit smoking. But what really sucks is when you, you're done smoking, you your lung cut out, and like a year and a half later, you're like, you know what? They say alcohol. Goes through your stomach? Decreases your... Uh, Libido? No. Your ability Testosterone? to... Testosterone? Oxygen. Yeah. You your your sperm it, count? Your... It's like the same thing when your lungs cut out. It no, it's um, oxygen. Uh, whatever fuck the word's called, but yeah. No, I know it's one. I always right. used to think I smoked a lot. I'd be mean, waking up in the morning. Oh my god, I can't breathe. Oh, I thought it was I a smoke. A I think it was a drinking. It was, dude. So what's crazy, and nobody believed me when I first told people this: drinking can make you shorter breath the next day, and yeah. it, it 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 has to do with. Um, hemoglobin and iron and your ability to be able to manufacture 
the type of iron that you need to in a certain environment. So um, if you basically like drink really heavily the night before, the oh, next shit. day it can – you know, it'd be harder for you to breathe because you're, yeah. and nobody's listening to me. Everybody's like, yeah, holly, jolly Christmas. Well, I was listening to you. I was distracted, but I was listening yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. And in case you didn't. I forgot the actual words they say, alcohol does your lungs. But yeah, your oxygen intake is lowered by alcohol. I, yeah. I, 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 I'm only the Christmas oh, oh, time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, stop licking your ass. Don't worry, little AIDS kid. Let's sing a song. Okay, from Dead AIDS. It's a holly jolly AIDS miss. And you're going to die of AIDS. What the fuck is going on in this show? <laughs> Shag Dog is a Jammer fan and uh, Diddy. I don't even know what's going on right now. Hey, I finished hey, almost the beer. Bro, all the jolly game, bro. By the way, this yeah, beer here yes. has a very bourbon, Liberate. ginger, allspice, nutmeg, cinnamon. It didn't add all of it, and I don't maltiness. Like, I don't like, what I think of as an imperial stout, no, I probably think of a, a spicy stout. What would you grade it though? That's the thing. You know, I give it a C plus and a swallow. You give it a C plus and a swallow. Yeah, maybe a B minus. I actually would give it a just a straight up B and a swallow. No, because it has the flavors of gingerbread, malty, yeah. you know, cinnamon, nut, clove. Uh, it's that time of year. It did put me in the Christmas mood, I guess. Give it a patty whacking. B minus and a patty uh, Yeah, and a stinger. Yeah, and a, a fucking you know what a stinger shot. is, don't you? Or you hook her mouth, man. A double stinger. You hook yeah. both fingers around that mouth. Yeah. So your friend can get easier access while you terrible. Yeah, that's the stinger is when you're doing her from behind and you're like, I'm gonna come and you pull out, you spit on her back, she turns around and you jizz all in her face. Oh, okay. Well you just made that up too. That was no, good. He, he on the spur of the moment. I thought you told me a different name for that before. That was on the spur of the moment. He just made all that up. Spit on her back, she turns around and you really come in her face. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, that's if you come in your hand and then spray it in your face. It's called the Spider Man. Right. Uh, Spider Man, yeah, you come in your hand and then you, she turns Wait, around. Who are you? You're like, like Spider Man. Like Spider Man. Woo, like webs. <laughs> Jammer fan, can you tell the single people around here? <laughs> Love it. Jammer fan, have you ever uh, done that before? Right now, with my girlfriend out of town, I've devolved into a horrible single barbarian. I've got like fucking like. Microwave, like, like you know, the containers oh, that you need a microwave. Would you ever do on. Spider-Man to They're your woman? everywhere. Yeah, there's there's just jizz on the walls. It's bad. No, no, no. <laughs> would you really do a Spider-Man to your woman? You would do that, all right? Come in your hand and fling it from your hand to her face, like Spider-Man? No. You would do that, would you? I'm more like you guys. You guys know Ghost, where Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. <laughs> they're like, it's it's just kind of like if I was like jacking off in the background behind them, and then like also molding things into. Yeah, it, it, it's it's pretty bad. It's not good. I'll tell you what. It's just you know. <laughs> what are you molding? Okay. Well, anyway, Robert. Everybody's like anyway. <laughs> no, I just wanted to like. I wanted to like. <laughs> I wanted to like shock the panel. Shock and all. I used to like I to I wanted to shock you back to life. It. I had to shock the panel back to life and say something horrible. I used to like the Patrick Why do I feel like I'm on a bad it? episode? Why do I feel like I'm on a bad episode of the ESPN show where the fuck guy that loves LeBron James dick so bad that, and Patrick Mahomes? What the fuck's that guy's name? Anybody ever see this fucking show? That's all he talks about is Patrick Mahomes and fucking LeBron James. I think we should do another one. No, I don't know that show, but somebody asshole. sucks buzzer dicks pretty good, huh? I think so. I think he sucks buzzer dicks. Review. 
But LeBron James to me is like a panty waste of my time. LeBron James, Jack Dog and Jammer, what did you technically drink during this show? I'm just trying to get an idea. Hold on, I'm sorry guys. What did you guys technically drink during the course of this episode? A nutmeg, uh, eggnog. No, just for no, just for this past couple minutes, like just for this, just for this one session. No, the fourteen percent beers. I said, what happened after the fourteen percent? Right here. No, after that. Right here. Oh, the eggnog. Oh yeah, yeah. Eggnog. A shot and a half. All right, shot and a half. All right. So that means you guys are at about a six pack almost a piece right now, or something. Maybe, maybe three, maybe, maybe eight yeah, a six pack of a Coors Light, a six pack of Coors Light. I don't know. Did you count that big giant Game of Thrones bottle? Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I counted that. Uh, I'm saying that, that big old bottle <laughs> equal to two 15 ounce. I know we had 14 percent. What was it? I, I was splitting it between you guys though. So I'm just trying to keep track. I'm I'm the um, uh, alcohol commissioner of the evening. Okay. And I um. Last name fucking Cuomo. What the hell is going on over here? You can taste the bourbon in this. What grade did we give this? He's pushing us into the old. I said a straight up B, didn't I? Old folks reviewing home. Yeah. No, I'm not doing nothing, man. I'm on your side, Diddy. Too. I'm on everybody's side. That's all cool down. That's what Cuomo said. Yeah, that's what he said. You're good at that. You got the lingo down, man. What the hell? It's cooler than this. Dude, the temperature's dropped like fucking 15, 20 degrees already. It's Florida. Uh, How the fuck does it go from 80 degrees to fucking 50 in like two hours? Yeah, it's Florida winter for you. Get the fuck out of here. It's supposed to be down to 33 tonight, so how the hell does it go to... By the morning. Dude, right now it's how's like 50, 52 fucking degrees. Yeah, how's it go from 80 yesterday and the I low here. this morning is supposed to be 33? Oh, okay. I don't know. I come out here, I got this fucking Santa Claus hat shit on. I'm fucking sweating my balls off. Hey, did he? And all of a sudden, I'm like, God damn it, it got cold. You got to hook okay. a jammer up with some dirty girls. He's got to pay for them. <laughs> They're not free. Yeah, I get them like dirty them. girls, but Finch I get a percentage ass. of that. Is that an expensive bottle? You guys are they're live. Yeah, you guys are live too. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, yeah, Jim can years. get dirty girls on his own time. Yeah, I'll see that one. <laughs> no, this is like. I, I love it, Diddy. Well, like, you I'm not like sure it, what, what, what Jammer's really looking for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But maybe he should try uh, maybe POF or something. Oh, shit. Something. Hey, we're going to do another beer, you guys. You guys want to continue the same video or we can make a new video? Yeah, if I can continue the same, edit it. Do you smoke weed, Diddy? Continue the same video. No. Like every once in a while, never? you just never done it? I'll allow my boys to smoke his shit. Like my boy what was over, Shag Dog? I, over the years. He said that like I will. I'm gonna rat him out right now, and I think Shag Dog has smoked weed a couple times. Oh, we smoked a lot when we were younger. All right, here we go. <laughs> like, all right, here we go. Yeah, I, I got. Welcome I to Chris Wild Beer Review. I am Jammer, Clo- Jammer, and he's Shag Dog. I am the true Shag Dog. We are doing. Uh, Sag, Sagatuck Brewing Company's Neapolitan Milk Stout. Neapolitan? Yes, you got Neapolitan. To go with that? Uh, Gotta have pizza to go with that. Oh, no, you don't have pizza. I got pizza at the house and wings. Well, you're not here, are you? <laughs> well, that's sucks for you. You should have came over here. I've also got pizza and wings, if anybody cares. I- I thought everybody, I thought that was a requirement. I thought everybody had a piece of me. On the back of this, it says a creamy milk stout with all the brilliant flavors of Neapolitan ice cream in one glass. Taste the rich flavors of chocolate, vanilla, strawberry in this Uh, unique beer. Lost me there. I hate Neapolitan ice cream. Well, you know, suck it. Yeah. Your brother (laughs) loved it. Your brother used to say Neapolitan, and I. Not so the time, I don't want to say Neapolitan, but I would always say my own Italian way. Is 
I'd say Neoplatoni. Neoplatoni. That's a very dark, dark beer, man. Isn't it? Look at that. Dark with red right. hues on the sides. Yeah. Jimmy, before you go any further, this one gets an 88 by Beer Advocate. Oh, my God. It's a sweet milk cell, 6% ABV, and it's by Second Talk Brewing Company in Michigan, the United States, year-round. Well, that best water of Michigan right. brings yeah, me a power. The best water of fucking Michigan. There we go. Right. I'm going to fucking sure die. Fuck, hold on. Hold on. No, it's uh, Hold Douglas, on. Michigan. I don't know how he's, close he's that is to blind. Flint. He's blinded by the light. Hey. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, this has the nice. creamy, it's gonna a, creamy. It's going to have a sweet taste. A creamy the, head on that. Yeah, it's going to have a nice sweet taste with the aftermath of like a cream type taste. With shit. Now, let me tell you, the smells, the smells, no. I'm going to tell you right now, vanilla. Chocolate strawberry. It's gonna taste like it's gonna taste like um it's gonna taste like ice cream melted down with fucking beer. Right. I like his predictions. You didn't cheers me. Cheers me. Let's see what's got, baby. Dude, Diddy, Diddy and I are on the same level. Yeah, I've had this before. This it does, definitely right. tastes like a Neapolitan ice cream. You definitely have more stout chocolate taste there, yes. but you do pick up a strawberry and a vanilla. Strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, roasty. A little coffee in there, too, but vaguely. Like right. a roasted chestnut with coffee. Yeah. It's definitely a, a dark... Ah, that's so good, man. I love that. Roasted it's, chestnut it's, cup. It's one of the best. Uh, if you're going to make a Neapolitan... Sagatuck I, Brewing. I want to try this. So, isn't aren't they the ones that had the pizza campus. beer? Uh, no, but they did have the maple. Maple. The maple uh, bacon. Maple bacon. Yeah. Maple waffle, whatever. Yeah. Was, yeah. Pancake, hot cake, whatever beer. Let me tell you, they have been really good at exactly what they say it is. It is. And let me tell you, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, a little oh, roastiness. Have you ever had this one, Jammer Friend? That exact one, no. No, it's pretty good. I think it's like try it. Well, you're where are they out of? Let's check. Michigan. Are you sure it's re, Are you sure it's nationwide? It may not even be available in Colorado. It's Michigan. That's right. It's nationwide. It's Michigan. It's, it is. We get it here in Florida, so you, but you might not get out west coast. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to just look that, that up real quick. Neapolitan beer. How's that? What? What's that? What's the alcohol percentage on that one? Six percent. Uh, Six percent on that one. It's really good Neapolitan. You know, uh, you know, I never been a big Neapolitan fan, but my older brother uses it. Neapolitan and Neapolitan. Neapolitan. And I'd always say Neapolitani. And he'd get pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, not he would. Not. And it's he not. also got pissed off when he came walking into Casbor saying. You're a prison guard. Well, I came walking into the sports bar, and I was like, I had to go get a cigarette, so we got done bowling, me, him, and Jammer, and got my cigarettes, I came into the sports bar, I was like, hey, you motherfuckers, your highness has arrived, you know, from the movie Platoon, he's like, shh, what are you doing, I, I'm a crush officer, there might be other officers I work with these work people. With. I'm like, you're not a crush officer, you're a prison guard. I'm a crush officer. You're a prison guard. You don't got it. So I did apologize to him months later. After hey. I became a crush officer. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it was just a little argument we got into. And I'm glad I didn't get to apologize to him. For I'm going gonna, gonna to look up Sagatuck Brewing here. But you know what? All that stuff is called memories, man. Memory. That's right, Diddy Diddy. You know, oh, the way been, we were. He's been gone coming up on 10 years now, so. You know, you know what? Is, and I don't put him on a pedestal. It's just my older I brother. Put him on a pedestal, and I love fuck him. That. Right? Let's not put my brother on a pedestal. You, if you have I a brother that pass away and you love him, that's your brother. You loved him. Let's not put him on a pedestal, right, Jammer fan? 
I put him on a pedestal. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't put him on a pedestal like, wow, woo, holy God. He's on the top. He's my brother. He's my brother. So getting back to the beer. I loved him. Do I put him on a pedestal purposely? No, he's my older brother. That's just what happens. You love your older brother, right? He's on the top of my Christmas tree. He's the angel on the top of my yeah, Christmas but tree. For every other year. family members to accuse you of putting him on a pedestal just because. You know what? Fuck those fucking commie bastards. <laughs> That's all I got to say. That's what I say, dude. At, at the same time, Shag Dog, I think you need to like distribute equal love to everybody, man. Like, you need to like make sure that every sibling in the family has the exact same amount of energy put I'll in tell you what, Here's what it is, Jammer fan. Here's what it is. Three or four years ago, my niece, my deceased brother's daughter, it was his birthday. She posts on Facebook, Today's my dad's birthday, but I'd like to take this time to thank my mother, who made me who the woman I am today. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, wait. It pissed me off. I'm like, wait, you're, it's your dad's Uh-oh. birthday. She be saying, oh, Dad, I miss you. I love you. I miss you. But it's your dad's birthday on Facebook, and you're putting a post of how much your mother has made you the woman that you are today. Well, no, thank you, your dad, or I miss yeah. you, dad, or to me that's disrespectful. <laughs> on your dad's birthday. I don't know about you. Maybe I'm a little old school. But on somebody's birthday, on Facebook at least, I'm not... Because Facebook hasn't been around as long as I have. You honor that person. At least person. on somebody's birthday, you thank that person or I miss you that person. Yeah. Not thank That's your right. mother. I'm sorry, it's my dad's birthday, but I thank my mother for all that. So that pissed me off. I was really pissed that day. And then last year, my nephew. You fucking goes to, bastard. I, I, I leave <laughs> from my parents' house and my mother, I come home the next day and my mother's like, oh. Should have been here. He kept talking about how China is. It was great and blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's weird. And then, like, a couple weeks later, I'm like, he posts some shit about China, how well they're taking care of the people with the coronavirus. Unlike American government, China cares about their people. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? I posted back to him. I was like, what's wrong with you? Your grandparents fought in World War II. Your step-grandfather in Vietnam. Your, your fa- I was in the Army. Your Uncles were in the army. Your father was even in the army. So, so as like, liberal oh, as I am on social issues, fuck I you mean, and my I, father. My father I, I, used to beat me and verbally abuse my mom. And as far as American military, they're imperialistic pigs or something like that. I'm like what the hell? I will never side with China. So I want to say right now that like I think dealing with China is bullshit. They that, are that like, jammer little, fan. That's China. 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 Yeah, like. Um, at the same time, um, if you're like, what do you think about the economy or what do you think about like, you know, foreign policy and stuff (laughs) that, that may be a little more complicated, but all right, well, let me just tell you, this beer was a delicious beer. (laughs) I give it a straight up B plus and a swallow. Well, Hey, you finished. That's why I'm a jammer fan. That's why I'm a fan of the jam. If you want to get my opinion on this, I have a fucking nephew who's a fucking commie little fucking prick. I get fuck. Fuck that cocksucker. He's a fucking commie. His mom brainwashed his fucking kid for fucking bullshit. His sister's a fucking idiot. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck. You know what? Fuck them. My brother was a great fucking person, and they can suck a fucking dick. I don't give a fuck. Whatever they got to say about him, my brother was fucking great. And to this day, I have his fucking name and everything tattooed on me. He was a great fucking person, and nobody will ever, ever forget him. Well, fuck yeah. Why would anybody anybody forget him, you know? His own children hate him because their mother brainwashed him. I mean, I, I'm not going to say my brother was a good guy. He was a, a very verbally abusive guy. Like, hey, you know, I don't think he was the perfect person. Well, he I can tell you right now. Person, he'll tell you flat you out. You suck. He was a hard ass. He didn't take shit from nobody. Yeah. But and when you're a, a, a child, and his daughter used to love him, and then her, for her to come out and say she's a verbally abusive 
That's I mean, terminology or verbiage from his mother, from yeah. their mother. He, she thinks that all men are, all white CIS men are verbally abusive. And CIS. CIS. Some gay Correct. shit. They, they, it, they it, with it, us, the CIS man. What's CIS? I don't I know. Fuck. You ain't never going to down my brother's name. You're never going to down him because he, to uh. me, to me, he was a great person. And I don't put him on a pedestal because he's a great person. I put him on a pedestal because he's my older brother, and he loves. I put him on a pedestal because he's not only my older brother, great person, role model, and right. he's a fucking hard ass. He was fucking he's, hardcore. He stick up for you. You're blood. <sighs> he think hey, you know what, Diddy? Diddy. Diddy. Shit. Diddy. Yeah. Let and me tell Jordan, you. And Jordan, oh, hold, think, on, hold, hold on. Hold on. on. Hold on. And Jordan will think. That his dad, whether he abused him or not, would put his life on the line for him. He's got everything coming. Let me tell you that. something right now. Shag dog, Diddy, oh, Jammer no. fan. Jammer. I can tell you this much about your brother. I knew him. I was good friends with him. In fact, I considered him a brother before I met his brother. He fell asleep. Oh, okay. But I can tell you right now that your brother would have stuck up for me, and would have defended anyway. me no matter what, and I would have him. And he would have stuck up for anybody that was getting wrong. Yes. Sure. So, that being and said. For, and for him, for Jordan to say, that because my brother didn't beat up right, inmates right. every day. I agree with you. And for Jordan to say, oh, he didn't get to beat up an inmate, so he came home and took it out on me. That's bullshit. I never saw a boy with black eyes. Or All right, so that being said. This was a pretty good beer. I liked it. <laughs> and I think that we should move on from this beer. I'm a little upset What was about the that? ABV again? <laughs> what was it? 9 or 10 percent? 11 percent. No, I mean, uh, this was 6 percent. Yes, yeah, that's what it was, motherfuckers. <laughs> this was 6 percent. I'm a little All upset, right. though. That their, their, their mother brainwashed them so bad. You know, he okay. ver- you no, know he what? verbally abused it is We're what it is. Like, verbally abused, and we Mike, put him on the pedestal. Yeah. Me, Uncle Pat and Uncle Shane put him on the pedestal. That's what he told Mom. You know what? Yeah, we didn't put him on a pedestal. He was him, on a pedestal. I will tell him. I will tell his mother. I will tell his sister. Everybody else. Yes, I put him on the pedestal. You know why? Because he was a fucking great man. He was a great man right. to me. He was already on that right. fucking pedestal. I didn't have to put him on no damn pedestal. I put him on. I put him on my tree. I didn't year. put him on there. He was already on there. On the what can I do? He saved me from drowning year. one time. Oh, let me put it this way: Your brother looked out for you. He was the ultimate older brother right. looking out for you. He saved me from drowning. And not only that, but he was the older brother saved in the sense of drowning. he looked out for me. Even yeah, I almost got. He thought I got hit by a forklift one time. It came running over. Uh, another time, an inmate tried to put a, a Burger King hat on my head. A knife in you. <laughs> hey, a Burger King you know cat. what? But you know what? It wasn't just about us. If you see anybody, whether it's a woman walking on a Walmart, that was that's getting true. Fast, I agree with you, Dave. Shit right Remember in when there. Was a hey, all right, uh, all right. Can we I'm get back on the panel? Hold on. Remember when he got beat up with the guy? You know. Uh, in New York with the skateboard oh, shit. And this teenager. Yeah, these girls were picking on it. These guys were picking on his girl. It was a bunch of bikers. A bunch of yeah. fucking grown ass bikers were picking on a girl. He up when he was 16, but he and stepped up to that girl. He stepped up to all these bikers and said, hey, leave her the fuck alone. He and he got up, beat up. Right? He got beat up, but hey. He took it like a shit. But he was always he was glutton for punishment. He, he would saying. always stick his neck out for somebody else. Yeah, and he's sticking his neck out for his kids, even though they don't believe it now, because their mother brainwashed him in a different way. Hey, drink the rest of that. Drink the rest of it. And I'm very upset with Caitlin because she should know Daddy loves. I've been you. very upset with Thank all you. those fucking people. Yeah, just they're not. Bit. They're not my family. None of those people are my fucking family. Oh well, that being said. I disown them. Yeah, I disown them too. Another great, Fuck exciting man. episode of the Spitter Swallow Beer Review. Yeah, I, I am Jammer. <laughs> we thank you for watching, commenting, <laughs> subscribing, liking, and sharing. Tinkle that little bell. And we're going to see you on the next one just in a little bit. 
because we're moving on to another great, exciting beer of our Christmas extravaganza. Are we go really going? Yes, we're going to know the beer. We're starting a new video. We're sending a new link. All right. See you guys in a little bit.